the naked bike category has exploded in recent years, and the offerings from most brands have become nearly as potent a weapon as their fared super bike counterparts. Massive motors and loads of electronics have helped these bikes turn this category into one of the most competitive, but that's come with a bit of bloater and an abandonment of anything resembling moderation. So, when Ducati opened its press briefing with the talk of returning to its roots, it came as a breath of fresh air and immediately piqued my interest. In 1992 Ducati unveiled a prototype for what would become the Ducati Monster M900, which Ducati claims spawned the sport naked category. The bike's creator, famed motorcycle and industrial designer Miguel Galazzi, said that the philosophy behind his design was that all you needed was a saddle, tank, engine, two wheels, and handlebars. The original M900 came as Ducati's answer to the cruiser segment and was initially designed to steal sales from Harley-Davidson Sportster. It was supposed to be easier to ride and more affordable to buy than other Ducatis, something for the everyday man. Those first monsters became some of the most copied motorcycles of all time, most notably by Suzuki's SB650 which achieved a great deal of success itself. But Ducati didn't stop setting trends there. It was also the first to put a liquid-cooled, four-valve per-cylinder superbike engine into a bike in this category.